Welcome again to Distance Learning Channel Dear Grade 7 Students. Today we will go through some selected parts of grammar. In the Roundup section, in your student book page 98 and in your workbook page 106. Let's first have a look at the objectives of today's lesson. Today I will be able to 1. Apply the use of the verb should accurately. 2. Apply the use of quantifiers accurately. So today we have two objectives to achieve. Let's start. Let's find out if you still remember the three forms of the verb should. What are the three forms of the verb should? Let's together complete the missing parts in this table. In the affirmative form, we have the subject followed by should and should is followed by the base form of the verb. In the negative form, we have the subject followed by should and should is followed by not, shouldn't should not and again it's followed by the base form of the verb in the question form we start by using the verb should followed by the subject and again we have the base form of the verb after the subject so these are the three main forms of the verb should the affirmative form the negative form and the questions for. Let's together go to the roundup section in your student book page 98. So please open your student book on page 98 and go to part 2 grammar. Let's read the given instructions for task C. Use should or shouldn't and the prompts in brackets to complete the sentences. So here you have five sentences and you have given prompts for each sentence. Again, you are going to use should or shouldn't and the given prompts to work out this task. I will do the first as a model example for you. 1. Kareem's got earache. He stay bed. The correct answer is he should stay in bed. Now have some time to work out this task. Now let's check your answers. 2. Afaf has a test tomorrow. She shouldn't go to bed late. Excellent students, your answer is correct. 3. This shirt doesn't fit you. You you should try it on in a medium. Excellent students. 4. Sar has got a bad cough. She drink cold water. She shouldn't drink cold water. Your answer is correct again. 5. Fred wants to buy a tablet. He save up money. He should save up money. Excellent students. Good job. Your answers are all correct. Well, in this slide, dear students, we have examples on countable and uncountable nouns. Which of these words are considered countable nouns? And which of them are considered uncountable. Have some time to work it out. Now let's check your answers. Let's start with countable nouns first. Books, places, people, apples. So these words are considered countable nouns. Now we move to uncountable nouns. Water, Sand, sugar, ice. These words are considered uncountable nouns. Excellent students, your answers are correct. Well, in this slide, dear students, you have important rules to remember. Quantifiers that are used with uncountable nouns are much, little, a little. So we use these quantifiers with uncountable nouns. 
Let's have some examples. 1. There is little water left for me to drink. Little water. Note that the quantifier little is followed by the uncountable noun water. 2. There is a little coffee in the cup. Again, note that the quantifier a little is followed by the uncountable noun coffee. 3. How much money have you got? Note that how much is followed by the uncountable noun money. So again, much, little, and a little are followed by uncountable nouns. Again, dear students, in this slide, we have some more important rules to remember. Quantifiers that are used with countable nouns are many, few, a few. So we use many, few, and a few with countable nouns. Let's have some examples. 1. There are many tables in this room. Note that the quantifier many is followed by the countable noun tables. Many tables. 2. The boy has got few friends at school. Note that the quantifier few is followed by the countable noun friends. 3. I met a few people at the party. Note that the quantifier few is also followed by the countable noun people. So, many, few and a few are all followed by countable nouns. Well, in this slide, dear students, we have more quantifiers to remember. A lot of and lots of. A lot of and lots of can be used with both countable and uncountable nouns in informal English. Let's have examples. 1. There are a lot of people at the party. Note that a lot of is followed by people. A countable noun. 2. The man drank lots of coffee. Note that lots of is followed by the uncountable noun coffee. So a lot of and lots of can be used with both countable and uncountable nouns. Remember that a precedes lot of, a lot of. Why lots is followed by of, lots of. Now open your workbook on page 106 and go to exercise F. Let's together read the given instructions for exercise F. Circle the correct options. I will work out the first one for you. A. How much many tea do you drink? B. I don't drink much many tea about two cups a week. I will work out the first one for you. The correct answer for A is how much, as we have the uncountable noun T here. And the correct answer for B is much again, as we have the uncountable noun T. Now try to work out the rest of the given examples. Let's check your answers. 2. There are a few little eggs on the table. The correct answer is... Well done, students. As we have the countable noun eggs and few is followed by countable nouns. 3. There is a little milk in the bottle. Excellent, students. As little is followed by uncountable nouns. 4. Karim buys a lots of lot of shoes every year. We have a here. So the correct answer is a lot of shoes. Excellent students. 5. We haven't got many much time to go shopping today. As we have the uncountable time here, so the correct answer is much, as much is followed by uncountable nouns. 
And now we move to the last one. I've got a few things to do at home tomorrow. Let's go on Saturday. We have the countable noun things. So the correct answer is a few. Good job, students. All your answers are correct. Please don't forget to log on to your team's account to do your daily assessment. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Stay safe and goodbye.